gentlemen, we have a fun mission here today. We got some new Chinese plastic to test on our DJI Mini 3 Pro. Gimmick or must have gear? Ha, <laughs> let's get testing. We're on our way to the first test location. So as a drone cinematographer, I am curious, can some of these special effect filters actually enhance our footage in some cases? <laughs> Guys, we have arrived. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna fly the exact same path with each of these special effect filters. The Titanic there is my target. When I reach it, I'm gonna pivot and face our friendly nuclear fusion reactor up in the sky. This perspective is important, but more on that in a moment. So here are the filters we're testing today, made by Freewell, not sponsored. We have a gradient filter, also referred to as a graduated filter, a promist filter with two different ND values and two anamorphic filters. How do each of these affect exposure? Well, I did a whiteboard test. The gradient filter seems to have about a five stop ND value at the top and then it fades to zero by the middle. The promist has two versions a two to five stop ND filter and a six to nine stop ND filter. All right, enough talking Maverick, put the damn drone up. So I ran our flight path with each filter. Let's see them all side by side and we'll take a closer look. And these are cropped in heavily so we could see some details of a subject. Can you pick out which special effect filter is which? Now ignore exposure because remember the sun is rising quickly so it's getting brighter minute by minute. Okay, well I'll speak for myself here. I see a slight tint difference but no special effects in any. I have no idea which special effect filter is which. Now let's look at the scene with the drone pointed directly at our glorious sunrise. The Pro Mist gives a nice bloom the graduated filter lessens the overexposed sun just a bit without affecting the underexposed landscape. And the anamorphic is, well, <laughs> a circus act. <laughs> now, let's do a much closer look at each of them in different scenes. Two of these filters I actually really like and will definitely always have with me. Let's look at the Pro Mist first. You can see it doesn't affect the ambient light until we get towards a harsh focused light. You can get this bloom effect in editing somewhat if you're really good. I tried it, but I definitely didn't like it. I like this filters bloom effect much better. Another example, please. I really like both. So for me, what I'm gonna do from now on, when possible in an important shot, I'm gonna record a scene with no filter, then record the scene again with the Pro Mist so I have both versions of an important scene. Yeah, I dig it. On to the graduated filter. It's also called a gradient ND filter. If you're not familiar with them, it has an ND filter only on the top half and no ND filter on the bottom half. It's used frequently by landscape photographers who want an ND filter on the top half of their scene so it lowers the exposure of the bright sky without affecting the landscape. This can be very valuable for us flying camera people. I've been wanting this actually. This isn't the best example here because it isn't enough exposure difference between the sky and the landscape. This is what I'm talking about, my friend. See the harsh overblown white sun? And it's right next to the almost underexposed landscape. If you put on a full regular ND filter, that landscape would be black. There'd be no details left. But this graduated filter 
lessens the harsh direct sun a bit without messing with my landscape, which is exactly what I want. Beautiful. That's the perfect start to a day right there. Damn, I love this hobby. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked up a camera a few years ago. My final thoughts on these drone special effect filters. I was surprised by the Pro Mist. I was skeptical, but after testing it in a few different scenes, I'm in. And I'll repeat what I said earlier. If it's an important shot, like a vacation or a special scene that I can't replicate, I'll first record the scene with no filter, then I'll record it with the Pro Mist so I have both versions. The other filter that I'm definitely going to always have with me is the graduated filter. I've been wanting that. Daddy needs it. And finally, the anamorphic circus act. <laughs> it can be fun. It's way too extreme. I talked about it in a previous episode, which was pretty fun. Now, if you want to learn more about ND drone filters and exposure, seriously, I put together this episode right here, which is my strongest tutorial to properly use ND filters, auto exposure, and shutter speed. It's an important episode. Please check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you for watching, my flying filmmaker friends. See you in the next one.